So our VSC officers hard at work trying to get uh, more people to join us. Okay, I'm with staff Derek, a fellow uh, VSC. So, how many have you recruited so far? We have signed up more than uh, 10 persons uh, since this morning, or rather this afternoon. Uh, optimistic to get more? Oh, to sign yes, up? yes, 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 yes. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, what about you? How many people have you recruited so far, man? Recruited? Three. Three, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, we got lots of people already signing up for VSC, as you can see. We're gonna check out the other side if they have recruited you know, a lot of people to sign up. Okay, so Farazana, you're recruiting for the prison volunteers. What kind of prison volunteers are you guys looking for actually? We are looking for religious and secular volunteers. Ah, see, so how managed to recruit few people? So far, response has not been that well. Oh, but I man. think it's Friday, so mm, maybe. maybe we can be better. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. hopefully. Okay, awesome. Keep okay, up the good work. How many gift redemptions have you issued? A lot of gifts, uh, I can't count. <laughs> it's a good day, man. Good day, yeah? Uh? How? Everything? Uh, Train is very good. Good, huh? We do volunteer, it's very good. Cool. Uh. Okay, what's up, guys? I'm with uh, staff Ellen from VSC. Ellen, how you come to know about uh, VSC? Why you decide to join the VSC? I think that was the one of the common group show in England, Coastal Point. That was like 15, 16 years ago. 15, 16 years ago? Yeah, that's why I came to know and that's why I decided to join. And that part I was still very young. Uh, no, I'm yeah. still young also. <laughs> young and hard can you do? Yeah, of course. So we can enjoy. Oh, I'm a, this is a vice president for human resources for the manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. So that's my full time job. Uh, so since then I've been volunteering. Since the day one when I joined volunteer, till today I'm still doing HR. Uh, yeah. So how do you find time to actually, you know, volunteer for VSC and then your job, your family? I think the blessing for my family is important. Mm -hmm. My wife supported this. Very much, and my mm. kids also supported. Uh, this is my passion. That's why every time and then I come for volunteer duty, I think they have not. But we have to do a balance. Because volunteer is volunteer, family is also important, work also important. That is, that's how we survive so many years. Uh, and then we look forward to more years of service with BSC. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think you're here for recruitment, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So we need more volunteers to join us, at least. So this join us, it will be very fun. Okay, and thank you. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. All the best for recruitment and all the best for VSC. Yeah? Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm currently with ASP Paul, a fellow volunteer. So how long have you been volunteering with VSC? Yes, eh? Oh, I've been a volunteer with the VSC for the past 15 years. I started at Bedok Division. I spent 13 years there. And currently now I'm at uh, VSC HQ. I'm Deputy Head Recruitment. So what is it that you like about volunteering with VSC? Eh? Oh, I think uh, volunteering with VSC is really a very meaningful job uh, because I started off as a patrol officer. Mm. So in those 13 years that I was in the patrol officer, uh, we did a lot of uh, patrol work. Uh, we did, you know, responding to triple nine calls, attending the messages, uh, helping parents find lost kids, and things like that. Uh, and also, I've been uh, deployed in many major operations as well and deployments. Uh, definitely, uh, NDP uh, is one such uh, event. And back in golf, uh, we were also deployed in uh, things like air show and uh, other major deployments as well. So I noticed you are also at ADC, uh, so maybe because <laughs> okay, yeah. interesting, interesting to know lah. I mean, how does uh, VSC fit in with the AD camps, you know? Okay, so uh, yes, I'm um, very honoured uh, this year in June I was appointed as honorary uh, ADC to president. Mm. Um, actually, I'm not the first. Um, previously, uh, in the last century, actually, uh, we had a few VSC officers also uh, uh, appointed as an honorary ADC uh, to president. So, my role as an honorary ADC, I support the full time ADCs uh, in uh, president's office to uh, help uh, plan and organize uh, events that President uh, also uh, hosts. So uh, things can range from uh, calls from foreign dignitaries uh, to dinners that she hosts. Uh, so we'll be there uh, supporting uh, her staff, uh, herself, and more, most importantly, we are also the first um, point of uh, contact with uh, foreign, foreign dignitaries uh, uh, also uh, come in contact with us so we are also like uh, ambassadors of Singapore as well okay sir just one final question uh. so any words of advice for those you know want to join us as a VSC I'm also a VSC myself uh. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, I, I strongly encourage uh, uh, everyone uh, who fit our minimum criteria to really consider and join us as a volunteer uh, officer. Because uh, to be honest, Singapore, we have no short of volunteer organizations. But if you want to make a difference uh, in the lives of uh, the community, citizens, and really to keep Singapore safe and secure, I think the VSE is the right organization, volunteer organization to join. Okay, thank you for the inspirational words, sir. I appreciate you taking time off to, you know, uh, let us interview. Now we're going to let him get back to recruitment. <laughs> thank you. Okay, guys, currently with Trifina doing recruitment at uh, the recruitment booth for VSE. And a couple of questions I want to ask you. How was your experience so far as a volunteer police officer? It's very meaningful and very motivating. Every day is like a great learning experience for me as a VSC. So as you know, training for VSCs is uh, six months at HTA, Home Team Academy. So how do you find the training? It's really, it's really wonderful. I meet a lot of friends and also learn a lot like police defense tactics. really help build up my confidence and fitness as well. And the trainers are really good and caring. They really go the extra mile and really make sure you really look out for yourself and the others on ground. So next question is uh, kind of personal, hope you don't mind. So um, what was your friends and family's reaction when uh, you decided to sign up as a volunteer police officer? They are extremely encouraging. They are actually very happy that I go out and try something new as well. So extremely supportive and they are very happy. If I'm not doing duty, they actually ask me to do more as well. Oh, why they ask you to do more? <laughs> I really go out and experience and learn more. It's like a chance they didn't get when they were young also. Like they always wanted to know how it's like to be like as a home team as well. Because my, my family members now them are police officers. Uh, so it's really like a, like a great experience like, to talk about with them as well. Your family and friends are basically supportive of you. Uh, and surprised as well, very surprised. Uh. <laughs> Do you think more women should take up volunteering with the home team? Definitely, definitely, it's really fun. You learn a lot more about teamwork and leadership. You learn to look out for not only others, it also help a lot of people as well. So it's really meaningful. Okay, awesome answer, Trifina. Thank you so much for taking the time to, you know, taking up this interview. We're going to let her go back to recruitment. How many people have you recruited so far? I heard that they recruited around 75 or 20. Okay, your whole team basically today, yeah? I hope so. I hope okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, thank you, Trifina. Thank you so thank much. You. Have a look at my cameraman, eh? he's such a helpful fellow man. <laughs>